Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I just finished meditating and had this inspired idea come through based off of a conversation that I had earlier with one of my mentees through my mentorship program. The question was, how do I know if I'm living in alignment? And I wanted to provide you guys with a couple different questions and journaling exercises that you can do on your own at home in order to figure out if you're living in alignment and what the steps are to get back into alignment if you're not. So the first thing to do is get clear on what living in alignment means to you. And often what it is, is uncovering what your purpose is. You can do that by simply asking, what is my purpose? And if you have trouble answering that question, first start by taking a couple steps back and asking yourself, when do I feel most energized, most in my element? What comes naturally to me? What do people come to me for? And what is it that I'm generally magnetized towards and excited by? So ask yourself that question. When do I feel in my element? If you can understand what the answer is to that, and maybe you just bullet point out something to start, or maybe you're writing pages and pages and pages inspired by what it means to be in your purpose, then you have the obvious next answer to what is my purpose? And what I found is that your purpose is not a noun, it is a verb. So for example, I am not just a meditation teacher and mentor. I am here to empower those around me to integrate conscious practices and wellness tools into their lives so they can reach their ultimate health and enhance every aspect of their lives, their business, their careers. That is me living in my purpose, in my verb, not a noun. So the next thing, once you've gotten clear on what it means to live in alignment, is to ask yourself where in my life, what areas of my life have I been living out of alignment? It's really easy to find these places because often it's the places where we feel really depleted or our energy feels drained afterwards. So it might be your career. It might be your relationships. The point of getting clear on this isn't to get rid of all of these things all at once, but instead it's to look at these areas of our life and then adjust. We use this adjustment period to crowd out all of the negative, the energy depleting, the draining with the good, the alignment. Because when we start to say yes to those things that are living in alignment with our true purpose, with what it means to be in our element, the universe conspires to give us more good. So the moment that you say yes to yourself, the moment that you say yes to living in integrity with your mission, your values, your purpose, the universe stands behind you and says, let's do this. So again, ask yourself, where have I been living out of alignment? What areas of my life have made me feel depleted or drained? For example, have you ever gone to a party or a dinner and afterwards just felt so exhausted? The reason being is that we put so many masks on, we put all of these costumes on that are molding us into what we deem normal or acceptable through society. But the more that you step into your true nature, the more that you step into alignment, the more that you are able to shine, the more that you are able to connect to your purpose. And in doing so, you create space for those around you to step into their purpose and feel comfortable being their truest self as well. Once you've gotten clear on the areas of your life where you've been living out of alignment, I want you to check in with yourself and ask yourself, what first step can I take? What first step can I take to start living in alignment? Where can I say no to things that are draining my energy, depleting my energy? And where can I start to say yes to things that make me feel excited and energized, maybe even a little bit scared? Because fear is good. It's a compass that we are doing something big. So use these practices, and again, I'm going to refresh you real quick. One, what does it mean to be in my element? What does it feel like? What is my true purpose here? Two, in what ways have I been living out of alignment? Or what areas of my life have I been living out of alignment? And lastly, three, what is one step that I can take to start living back in alignment and moving myself in the direction of my soul purpose, of my true nature? 
I hope that all of these journaling exercises help you to uncover and unravel what it means to be authentically you, authentically true. And again, when you do this, you create space for those around you to feel inspired by their true nature as well. For more videos just like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave a comment if you were able to uncover what your true purpose is, because I can't wait to celebrate that with you. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for tuning in.